speaking once again and welcome to Every Botanic Gardens. Thank you. My name is Ekufu. Coming to Every Botanic Gardens is to experience plants. Edible plants, non-edible, foreign, local, medicine, non-medicinal, and it also has a history concern. The garden was officially opened in the year 1890. That is 133 years of age. When British came down here in 1842, they had a collaboration with the Basel Mission to have a land of 160 acres for planting of cocoa, which you call it cacao. On the way coming, the soil became uh, poor nutrient with rocky, so it made them left back home to have a meeting in House of Common in London just to change the cocoa farm to a botany. When they came back in 1875, they spotted the highest point in the forest to build a house which was used as sanitarium. So from the highest point from that place, which is above to a sea level, is 1,500 1, feet in meters, 649 meters. So after building the house, they left for Japan to brought in a tree to be planted for commemorating the house called Cupresses, which is still alive. After all those things, they saw that the entire forest is there doing nothing in it, and there was a tree which was really tallest among the rest of the trees. So it made them left, uh, selected 30 acres out of 160 acres to grade all the 30 acres, which left only one survivor tree called Cyber Pentandra. The common name is Silk Cotton Tree, which is a species of K-pop, and it's indigenous to South America and West Africa precisely, having a name by Cyber Pentandra. Then also, in the year 1924, it was still ruled by the British. The then governor was called Sir Gordon Gogglesbeck. When he came to meet the first tree, he named after the wife called Lady Natchford and also planted the same tree, which has grew up to 99 years and is still alive. Then in the year 1967, there was a war in Nigeria titled Biafra War between two army generals, but uh, because the war happened in the eastern part of Nigeria, they also, and we are also in the eastern part of Ghana, they invited them here on neutral grounds to sign peace accord for Nigerians. But because of the accord was assigned here, they've named it after Aburi. So anywhere living to fill Aburi accord concerning Nigerians, it doesn't mean that they have a part of their country or somewhere in Nigeria called Aburi but because of the accord was assigned in here. So this is a short history that I've greeted you this afternoon. I'm ends here to welcome you to the Botany Gardens once again. You are welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Thank you. where we are now, the first tree I would like to introduce is Aki and Jamaica Aki and Saltfish. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. is the tree. Do you see the tree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you, when you look at it, when you look at it, it's looking attractive. But you don't need to be anxious to pluck the close one to enjoy. Otherwise, you will, kill, you will die yourself from it. Because it contains poison when it is closed. But when it is open on the tree and you can plug it, you only have to take out the black seed out of it and start eating it by raw or by steaming. It tastes good and it makes your stew become very delicious. Now, we also have these bigger trees grown here. That's a tick, tick tree. If you have heard of tick tree, it is originated to Southeast Asia and Indian, having a scientific name by Tectona grandis. It has natural fire resistance. That is what, uh, that is why electricity use them for mounting their electric poles. Also, it's been also uh, used for supporting tunnels by those uh, miners, right? But as soon as you started garnishing the the leaves, it turns red, like a, a magic blood, which can be used for your leaves. And at the moment, people are adding some leaves with it for boiling it, for treating diseases like malaria and others. Mm -hmm. Right. So I would like to get you a piece of the leaves just to do it for you to see how wonderful it can do. Okay. The tree leaf, not the bark? N not the bark from the leaves itself. Okay. Yeah. Just a minute.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to Now, hello. Now, everybody, those who wanted to video it, I think you can bring out your uh, cameras out to video it. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, should I go on? Yes. That's okay. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'll just do it on my. Yeah. That's okay. I just want you to see how it does. Mm -hmm. Now do you see how it turns? Yeah. So in the olden days, our women were using them just as this for making their lips, like yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will be using that whole tree. Yeah, yeah. So do you see how wonderful it has done? Yeah. yeah. Just as a blood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it will not stain my finger. Mm -hmm. Just uh, uh, some few minutes, it will start good out from my fingers. Right. Okay. So we are now taking walk. You so we got the orchid tree up there. Yes. And clean it properly. They, they don't do, do that. They don't do. They don't use it, so they don't have to. Yeah, uh, no one here I've seen cook aki. You know, when you when you become yeah. an old man, sometimes your mind changes. Yeah, you just react like a half-minded person. Yeah, so that is where they used to keep them for treating. Uh -huh. Now. This tree wasn't intended to be planted here, but it served as a uh, fruit plant. When the fruit is ready on this tree and you are enjoying, as you are enjoying, then it turns gum in your mouth, which you can still do chewing gum from it. And it has a name by Clasophyllum abidium. The common name is white star, African white star apple. If you know some fruit that has a name by plum, it has the same seed like plum. But plum is sweeter than this. This is sour taste with a stingy juice, which is indigenous to Ghana here. Mm. Actually, it's almost off season. Other than that, like as we are going back to Accra, you will see some of the women carry them in the traffic for sale. Right. Mm. Where we are now, the trees planted along, they are Amazonian plants. If you have heard of cedar, mm -hmm. we have a cedar of Lebanon, but these ones are Amazonian cedars, which was planted here in 1895. That is 128 years of age. And it's really matured for all building constructions and furniture. But because it has natural color, we do call it redwood. So buying redwood here for your furniture or your building is very, very good wood. And it's been propagated from the seed of it. Okay. Aloe vera. That is not an aloe vera. We call it bromelia. It is a species of parasite which grows in tropical areas, most on trees. Yeah. So because it has a design like a pineapple leaf, over here we do call it pineapple orchid. Pineapple yeah. orchid. Yeah. All right. We move to the. Okay. Let's move. Oh, God, I see. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 